So 12 rounds here for the WBC light flyweight title between Ken Shearer, the home fighter, he's in the white, and Gannigan Lopez of Mexico City, former champion tonight, the challenger, boxing out of the southpaw stance in the dark blue. And these two met last May. And despite the fact that on that occasion, Shiro was the challenger, he was on a big Tekken promotion show, Rio Murata, Daigo Higa on it as well, so he got home advantage and he won by majority decision. It was very, very tight. Two scores of 115 to 113 and won a draw at 114 apiece. And Lopez didn't like the decision one little bit. He actually showed up at the WBC weekly meeting afterwards saying that he'd reviewed the tape and felt he clearly won the fight and requested that they make an immediate rematch. That didn't happen, but after just one fight in the meantime against no meaningful opposition, he was back in at number one. And so having had to wait just a little while, gets another chance again tonight. And Spencer, we expect this to be more of the same the second time around, really. Yeah, first fight was very close. Lopez did think that he won that fight. So here we go. He gets his chance against, against Shiro. Shiro, younger, 10 years younger at 26, maybe a bit fresher. And he'll be looking to do a better job here, Shiro. But you're right, Andy, this was very close last time out. So it's going to be interesting. Just looking for the jab there, Shiro. Nothing particularly on it. Both of these two just trying to hold centre ring at the moment. Yep, just both feeling each other out at the moment. You can see mutual respect from both guys here. Nice jab there from Shiro. But just looking for the openings and no one really committing in this first round. Lopez is reaching in for a left to the body there. Despite the fact that he lost here in Japan last time, he was in this part of the world, Lopez. He has had good experiences in Japan. He won the title against Yukimura. That was his second attempt, having failed at the first hurdle against Pedro Guevara and also had an eight-rounder earlier in his career. So he's no stranger to travelling Lopez and he's no stranger to winning on the road. Just falling a bit short again with that southpaw backhand. Yeah, Shiro doing the right thing here, just being patient, looking to counter Lopez's jab off his own jab. It's a good start from both guys, looking both looking composed. Little bit clumsy there, Shiro, as he came forward. Over balancing over the top of that front foot a bit. Lopez throwing the combination brings applause from the crowd. It's a very non-partisan crowd when you watch boxing in Japan. Shiro in the white and gold. Reigning WBC light flyweight champion. Jab a little bit more at the start of the round here, Shiro, but the same can be said of Lopez. Yeah, no one really stamped their authority in the first round, and Shiro again just fainting, just trying to draw the lead of Lopez. Lopez was falling short with the right hand, as the backhand as he was coming in, and that's where Shiro needs to then jump on him. Well, Shiro's progressed quickly, winning that title in just his 10th professional fight, so he's moved fast. He's moved up to championship distance quickly as well, and there was a mouth-watering potential clash on the horizon. Ryuichi Toguchi met Heki Budler last week for the WBA and IBF titles. The Japanese fighter was the defending champion, but Budler pulled off a terrific win, the South African, so an all-Japanese matchup between Toguchi and Shiro. Were he to win tonight is now off the agenda, that can't happen, but of course Shiro needs to hold on to his title here. Yeah, good foot movement there from Shiro, showing good foot movement, switching the angles, and nice body shot as well. He's just getting into this now, Shiro, landing some nice backhands. It goes down to a knee, the right hand to the body has caught Lopez there. At first glance, it didn't really seem to be an awful lot of power behind it. But he's in big trouble here, the Mexican, and it doesn't look like he's going to make it. 
No, he's not going to beat the count here, and I think he's been waved off. It was a right hand right up the solar plexus through the middle of the guard. Just seemed to take everything. Proved. What a great champion he is. Well, WBC like flyweight champion. I mentioned Hecky Woodler winning those WBA and IBF titles last week in this very ring. So maybe those two could get it on in the near future. That would be 